Hey, former CIA officer Jason Hansen here. I'm at SHOT Show, the shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show. If you love guns, if you love knives, if you love tactical gear, which absolutely I do, this is the place to be. So right now, I'm in the Advantage Gold booth, and the reason is these are the guys that I buy my precious metals from, and they do something which most companies don't do, and that is a bug out bag that has precious metals in it. So I'm a huge fan of bug out bags. I have a bug out bag in my vehicle, in my home, for every single member of my family. I've got a wife and six kids, so yes, I own own a lot of bug out bags and when I'm consulting with people and helping them build their bug out bag they always forget the precious metals they always forget to put money in there because I've been overseas I have had to bribe my way out of dangerous situation and if you have to bribe the police corrupt police overseas you want to have some cash or precious metals so very quickly right now I'm gonna go through the advantage gold bug out bag this is one of the bug out bags I own since it has precious metals you've got to include this so please watch you're gonna learn about a lot of items you're gonna want to include in your own bug out bag and I'm gonna go through the silver kit and explain every piece of silver in here it's really sharp I love how it's in here so in no particular order I'm gonna start pulling out stuff here and I'm sure you're gonna see an item or two that you want to add to your own bug out bag first we have a good hand crank radio you want to have a hand crank radio so you don't have to worry about the batteries dying this has a solar panel up here at the top you can listen to the radio you can crank it you got the antenna here that you can throw up in a crisis you need to be able to get information you need Need to be able to hear what's going on what roads are closed where the danger is coming from so add one of these to your bug out bag next we have an emergency sleeping bag i live in utah it gets incredibly cold you hear those horror stories of people freezing to death when they get trapped in their vehicle and something happens so in your bug out bag and especially in your car you want to have one of these emergency sleeping bags because they can reflect up to 90 percent of your body heat that way you won't freeze to death you'll stay a lot warmer and of course they don't take up that much space so pretty tiny good thing there we also have a tomahawk I love tomahawks I'm a huge fan of the tomahawk I have had to dig my way out of a ice situation after a car accident using a tomahawk my friends and family used to laugh at me that I had a tomahawk in my bug out bag until I used it to get out of that situation where we were trapped in our vehicle in some ice so tomahawks are of course great for survival you can chop down trees kindling but also self-defense if it is that worst case scenario so definitely have a tomahawk going even further is a multi-tool absolutely you got to have a multi-tool this has so many different uses you've got your knives in there you got screwdrivers and whatnot i have relied on a multi-tool multiple different times so anybody that doesn't have a multi-tool in their bug out bag is crazy which is why my bug out bag the advantage gold bug out bag that i use of course has a multi-tool in here then we have this handy dandy little kit which is chock full of small items that you ought to have hopefully you're going to be able to see this as I open this up and, and get everything un unlocked here. First is paracord. You know I love paracord because of course you can use it to secure items, you can build shelter, but it has escape uses. So when I travel overseas, I've got paracord in my belt, I got paracord in my backpack, I've got it all over the place because it can help you escape restraints. This particular one has a fire starter in there. So if you had to, to stay warm, you can use this to start a fire, which is an awesome thing. Also a flashlight, always gotta have a quality flashlight, multiple flashlights, I'm a flashlight flashlight junkie so this is a small one isn't going to take up a lot of space it doesn't weigh a ton inside the bug out bag we have a compass most people are not going to have their gps working in a crisis situation i can attest to that so you have a compass in there you should also have a paper map of wherever you live that way you can pull out that paper map if gps if everything is down which it might be we have a spork of course we all remember sporks from elementary school when we were eating but i love sporks because when you're cooking survival food other items you want to have a spork that way it's a heck of a lot easier so in a crisis situation if you are relying on your bug out bag it's obviously gonna be difficult so have items like this which give you a little bit more of comfort which you absolutely want got more cordage in here cordage can be used in a million different ways so always have this in the bug out bag a knife as i mentioned earlier i'm a knife junkie i have a fixed blade knife i have a pocket knife and of course you can cut things you can use it for self-defense so everybody should have multiple knives all over the place in your bug out bag in your vehicle all over tactical pens i'm a huge fan of the tactical pen everybody knows that i always fly with my tactical pen i've traveled all over the world with my tactical pen so having a writing utensil that can be also used for self-defense is a great idea i'm all for items that are versatile and they can do double duty for me i have a little wire saw if you have to build a shelter if you want to saw through small trees that way you can build a lean-to or some other shelter to keep you warm when you are inside your sleeping bag this is an absolutely must-have 
have a larger fire starter because you want to have multiple options to start a fire in a crisis because it might be a matter of life and death helping you stay warm carabiners i have carabiners on my bags hooked to it just to hook various things to so these are great that aren't expensive they don't weigh much i have a straw maybe you need to access some hard to get water so this is kind of just thrown in there and of course i always like items which you could use to jab and smack somebody with always a fun thing and then miniature screwdrivers here so you can see a phillips head you can see a flat head one of these multi-tool cards that way you have many many options inside your bug out bag because that's what you want you want to have a lot of options with everything in here and also a rescue whistle. So I'm not gonna try and put that back in this case. Right now, we'll do that after this video, but a lot of great little things fit inside here. Going back to the bag, one of my most favorite things of all inside this case is what I call the silver bug out bag. This is $500 worth of silver. That way, if you have to bribe somebody, if you have to buy something, if you have to barter, you can use this to get out of a jam. And I have been there. As I said earlier, I have had to bribe my way overseas out of dangerous situations. So I know how valuable it is having not only all the gear but some financial protection too when you open up this kit it is going to be just like this awesomely organized all different silver pieces and i get dyslexic when i start talking about the exact silver so i'm going to read off this card because i know if i don't i'm going to screw up exactly what the silver pieces are called so we have 50 mercury dimes we have 10 washington quarters five liberty half dollars three morgan silver dollars and two silver eagles the awesome thing is they're all in here meaning they're protected so heaven forbid, worst case scenario, this gets waterlogged. You don't have to worry about these getting waterlogged. And also, in addition to having all these in the case, I asked, I requested, because remember, this is one of the bags I use. I said, I want you to include some extra space. That way I can buy additional silver coins because I'm always purchasing more precious metals. I'm always adding to my family's financial protection. So we have all this here, which is the $500 worth of silver, all that stuff. Then I had these cases included so I can add more silver dimes or whatever I want to add i'm a huge fan of silver i love it you should have gold too i'm a fan of both but for my bug out bag i want the silver because it's smaller denominations and easier for me to trade easier for me to barter and everybody knows the value of silver everybody knows how important it is so this is my silver bug out bag which is inside of my larger bug out bag other items is if you get this it includes my book on surviving a financial apocalypse both a physical and a financial apocalypse so a lot of tips and tricks here based on intelligence operative information very valuable so i threw this in here because a lot of people want to buy this bag and everything i threw this in here that way you can say okay what should i do in a specific situation that tells you how this is a life tent you want to have multiple different ways to get shelter we talked about the sleeping bag but also the life tent gives you another option that way you could put more people in there doesn't take up a lot of space doesn't weigh a lot i can tell you you don't want your bug out bag to weigh a hundred pounds anybody in the military or in the intelligence business knows the phrase ounces equal pounds pounds equal pain so so you don't want a 150 pound bug out bag because if you have to hump it on foot, you're not gonna get very far. This is lightweight enough where I can do what I need to do. Going even further, let me let me go to the next pocket of this thing. This has a quick clot, clot gauze, so a trauma pack. If you get stabbed, if you get in a car accident and a piece of glass cuts you badly, you wanna have this stuff, that way you don't bleed out. Because if you don't have this stuff, you could bleed out in a matter of minutes. Very important to have in a bug out bag. Also, another sleeping bag. This is one of those ones that can reflect about 90% of your body heat emergency sleeping bags i have multiple in my bug out bag because i might have a lot of people in my car but also i have been in those situations where it's freezing i've been up in the mountains at 10,000 feet in training in this particular scenario i'm mentioning where i couldn't have anything and it was so cold i did jumping jacks the entire night i didn't sleep at all i would sit for about five minutes i would start freezing to death and i started doing jumping jacks and started doing push-ups so it is not fun to be cold which is why i have so many ways to keep warm inside of my bug out bag i have a signal mirror because obviously you want to be able to signal for help if you get stranded if you get lost in the wilderness during a crisis i have a lock pick set lock picking is easy i have a clear lock that i've included for you along with the lock pick set you'll be amazed about 75 percent of front door locks in america have very cheap locks because builders build these homes they put on the cheap locks nobody ever changes their lock after they buy a house so i could easily pick many locks in this nation which i don't because i'm a good guy but you should know how to pick locks in case you have to get through a gate in 
case you need to get access to somewhere in a crisis situation. Lock picking is an easy and fun skill for you to learn, which is why I included it in my bag. I have a trowel just because it makes life easier if you have to dig a hole, makes life easier if you're digging a place where you're gonna put a shelter or anything like that. And of course, if you're just going hiking, you can bury your waist, all that type of stuff. Going on and on, this is like the never ending uh, bug out bag, which is awesome because I love gear, as you know. I have a SWAT T tourniquet. This goes back to the quick clot. If you need to quickly put on a tourniquet so somebody doesn't bleed out, you wanna have this type of stuff. Tourniquets are important. I not only have them in my range bag when I go to the shooting range, but I also have them in my bug out bag. And like everything else I keep mentioning, it is tiny. It doesn't weigh a lot, it doesn't take up much space. I have one of the straw water filters. That way I can get clean water in an emergency. Slips right in my bug out bag. And this stuff, it's rescue tape. Tape is important. You don't know what you're gonna be taping. You don't know if you'll be repairing a vehicle. You don't know if you're gonna be using a tape up shelter. Of course, we know it has a million different uses. That's why I throw this in my bag. And make sure I didn't forget anything. Let me go to this pocket. You gotta have food. One of the food that I like is these Met RX bars. They don't take up a lot of space. They have a ton of calories. This is like a, for lack of a better word, a power bar on steroids. So I've got a few of these. They sit in there forever. They're fine because you obviously want to have survival food in your bug out bag. And going to the final pocket. Shelter, shelter, and more shelter. Unless you've been in situations like I have where you've been cold, miserable, wet, you want to have so many of these. This is a quality poncho. Doesn't weigh a lot, but of course, not only can you use it as a poncho, but you can also use it as a shelter. So you can sit there and seek shelter. You can string it up using the cord that I have in here if you need to cover more than one person, if you've got your wife in there or whatever. Also very important about the bug out bag that I designed with Advantage Gold when I said, hey, here's what I want, is there's extra space in there. That way you can add more survival food, what you like. You can add a fixed blade knife. You can personalize it however you want. So I'm always adding gear to my bug out bags. I left space in here so you can add gear for whatever your particular situation is. Because obviously I don't know where you live. I don't know what country you live in. So you can add the items that you need. I will say, I highly recommend getting one of these. Like I said, I own it, Advantage Gold. The guys are awesome. They know what they're doing, which is why I buy my precious metals for them. And I just, I, I'm, a, I'm a survival junkie because I've, I've seen things most people have never seen. I know how important it is to prepare. I've seen what happens overseas when things go bad and they go bad fast. So get your financial bug out bag, get your regular bug out bag like this. If you wanna contact the guys at Advantage Gold, please mention my name. They'll take awesome care of you. And if they don't, mention my name. I'll make sure that even though I know they will take awesome care of you. If you click the link below right now, now. You can reach the guys at Advantage Gold. You can get one of these bug out bags. Please protect yourself. The world is definitely not getting any safer. I am former CIA officer Jason Hansen. God bless you. God bless your family.